All right, hello and welcome folks. My name is uh, Luis Quintanilla and I am a program manager working on AI for .NET. And I'm talk here to talk to you about um, ChatGPT plugins and how you can use Visual Studio and DevTunnels to test them. So again, you may have heard about ChatGPT plugins. Um, and you know basically what they are is they are a way for ChatGPT to interface with your REST endpoints or your web services, right? Um, let's take a look at kind of what that looks like. You're going to see here that I am in this plugins interface inside of the chat.openai.com uh, website. And I have here this Contoso products search plugin enabled. And you can see that this Contoso product search uh, effectively is just this web service or plugin that allows me to search through Contoso's uh, inventory um, of outdoor and recreational products. So um, let's say that, for example, I was looking for hiking boots and I say, I'm looking for hiking boots. Um, you're going to see that it's going to uh, get my request, um, and it's going to go ahead and call this uh, Contoso product search plugin to perform this work on my behalf. And we can see here is that it's telling me that it found these Contoso hiking boots, and it's found them in size 10 at $129.99. Uh, okay, so perfect. So what exactly is powering this experience? Let's take a quick look here at some code. So if I go back here to my program.cs file, you're going to see here that um, effectively this is just a, an ASP.NET Core minimal web API. Um, and so this should look very familiar to you if you're used to developing these types of applications. All right, so it's just a, a, a web service here. Now, for the data, we have this JSON file. Let me just kind of stop this here real quick. Um, and you can see that it's just this products.json, which contains all of uh, the information. You can see the hiking boots are there. There's a size 10. And again, here's the price, right? Now, this could be in a database somewhere, but in this case, we've kept it simple. And we just have it in this JSON file. Let's go back to this here. Um, you can see a lot of this is going to look very familiar. So you have the builder. Um, you have this uh, configuration of your open API uh, sort of uh, documentation um, and specification. Uh, we're adding cores here to enable that. Um, we're using static files. Now, the reason we're using static files here is because we have uh, one more requirement, in addition to having a web service and an open API spec, ChatGPT needs to know how to find and how to interact with your web service. And it does so. It does so. Um, you can register that information through this ai-plugin.json um, file. And you can see here that this is a manifest file, which contains information for ChatGPT, such as the name of your plugin, uh, a description of what your plugin does. Uh, if there's any authentication, you can sort of specify that here as well. Um, you also have information here specifically about where your API, uh, open API spec lives, right? So that's how ChatGPT is able to uh, see which endpoints are made available to it. And then just, you know, a, a logo and additional legal information and contact information, right? So this essentially is what allows ChatGPT to, again, understand what routes are available to it, what endpoints are available to it, and what those endpoints do. Okay. Um, so... And you can see finally, right, that we have this single map get. So this uh, issues a get request to the product endpoint, which again loads up um, our, our products and tries to return those to the user. Right. So <clears throat> let's take a look at how we can go about testing this uh, GPT plugin. So let me start this up. And as we specified in our manifest file, we said that um, actually, let me just go back here for a second. Um, let me just uh, start this back up. And what you're going to see here is that it's listening on localhost 7070. We can see that uh, this is the Swagger UI here. And we have this product endpoint. If we were to try it out, all right, and initial query for hiking boots and execute this, you can see that we get that response of the hiking boots here, right, the product. So if we want to go test it in ChatGPT, we just go to chat.openai.com, go into this plugins interface. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through uh, how you can register or install these plugins uh, from scratch. So first of all, let me do let me uninstall the one that was already there and we tested before. Now let's go through this uh, workflow. So we click on develop your own plugin. We go to localhost 7070 here. And then we click manifest find manifest file. And what this is going to do is it's going to load the manifest file as well as that open API spec, right? That gets generated by Swagger. And so you can see here that there's that manifest file, the ai-plugin.json file, and all the information there looks good. Uh, and here is our open API spec. And again, this little check mark just means that it's it's okay and it's it's valid, right? So when we go to install plugin, it's now available to us and it's enabled. So we can then ask it, um, looking for hiking boots again. And after a few seconds, what you'll see is um, that it will return with the response about the hiking boots product that's available to us. 
So again, size 10, 139, and this is going to tell us how I can boot. Perfect. So <clears throat> in this case, we're using uh, localhost, but what if we wanted to test out with some sort of a more real endpoint, right? So in that case, step tunnels actually comes in really handy. So let me go ahead and stop this real quick. And in this case, if we go to, you can find that by going to this here and then going to depth tunnels. And I have already uh, a depth tunnel configured. Um, but uh, again, you can check out our documentation if you're looking for help on how to get started. And I'll cheat a little bit here because I already know what my uh, depth tunnel URL is. And the only thing that I'm going to change here is, other than saying that I want to use a depth tunnel, is I'm going to change in my manifest file where my open API spec file lives and you know where this logo can be found. Okay, so I'm going to do that <clears throat> and I'm just going to restart my application. After a few seconds, you can see that now the uh, Swagger UI is now uh, being presented through this uh, depth tunnel here, the depth tunnel URL. And if we go over to chat.openai.com, um, let's go ahead and reconfigure that, uh, except we're going to um, disable this, uh, go to installed, uninstall it, go through that process again. And again, in this case, I'm going to put the depth tunnel URL as opposed to the local host. Click on Find Manifest File, and again, that same workflow is going to run. I'm going to click Next, install this for me, continue, and accept all of the prompts here. Uh, and then let's try it again one last time. For hiking boots. OK, and again, after a few seconds, you should be able to see that um, this returns a response that I'm expecting. So that's how you can use uh, Visual Studio uh, and DevTunnels to test ChatGPT plugins. Thanks.